Before I start, I'm just going to quickly go through the materials. Here's my pallet. Um, they're just Cutman watercolours, squeezed out and allowed to dry on the pallet overnight. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, these are in crimson, rose sienna, burnt umber, and light red. We've got a tea towel that I use for wiping the excess water off the brush. We've got a large hake here, 45mm across. Um, piece of plastic I use for scraping out rocks, buildings, and whatnot. Water jar with a nice lip on that I use to brush the water the uh, brush on to take off the excess water. With a 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper cold pressed. So I'm just going to start off using a large hake brush, just putting clean water. Whoop, hang on, I'll just switch that off. Just clean water all over the paper. And this will make a sort of stop the clouds from being too hard edged and just soften everything off into the background. So, this is just raw sienna with a bit of light red in it, a bit of burnt umber as well, just working my way. Not quite sure what it's going to look like yet, to be honest with you. A bit of a lizard in crimson in there as well, a bit more blue. Experimental at this stage. Just going to see what, what opens up on the uh, paper and then just go with it. Just trying to preserve lighter areas though, so we've got a nice contrast light against dark. Brushing in from the sides. Feel that bit of white in there at the bottom. Let's get this a bit darker. So we got a bit of ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of a lizard in crimson. A bit of yellow in there. I have to mix that with another colour so it stop it from going green. Bit of blue, bit of grey. I think Take about a few white clouds with your tissue. And the one on this side. And then as it dries, it will sort of go on. So if it's too wet, you're, you're just moving the paint around. You'll be able to darken it until it dries a little bit. If you want it really dark, you'll have to let it dry and then put, put it on in layers. Otherwise, you're just moving wet paint around. Um, right, so distant hills or trees rather. So it's all the same colours again. And now I'm just going to just flick them up like that. Flick them up. Not too much detail because that's a long way away. Bit of yellow. Stronger ones just in front of them. Use the card, a few little fence posts. I'm 
height has stretched a bit, so it's only because I'm dark now, it's starting to dry how dark it gets. Paper stretched a bit, so oops. Just drop the clip. I'm just going to pull it tight. Just so that it's flat against the board, because there's nothing worse when it just keeps coming away from the board and you try to press it with your brush and it's, it's irritating. Because you just can't do it properly. Right, so it's going to be like a house there. So, let's get a sort of housey colour. Could be anything really, pretty much. I'm not going to deviate too much from, from the colours on there. Um, or shall I? I don't know. I'm just going to see what happens. Right there. A bit more water. Brush is a bit dry. It's just, I just want to loosen this up a little bit. Just so the colours blend into one another. So I'm going to start something up there. It's like a, a roof. Going on behind there. Something on there, and there's something there. And there's something on the side of that. Get a bit of definition on it. Coming across. Just those little marks basically, it just looks like there's something going on. A um, bit of raw sienna. There's a road that sort of sweeps around there. Dabs going on there and there. And you can you don't want them pure white. Just pick a I'll just go over them with something else. Like a bit of raw sienna, just adding a bit of colour to it. A bit more water. 
Flow. All I'm going to do now is just add a little figure, a little figure in the doorway somewhere. A little bit stronger than I'll run so I'm just going to calm that down slightly. Dog don't quite look right, so I'm just going to... Looks more like a chicken, isn't it? Before I mess about it too much. All I'm going to do now is just look for a dry spot where I can put my name. I'm going to call that one finish. I think. I've got a little sort of like some sort of farm building thing going on. So let's have a let's have a closer look at it anyway. So this is our finished painting. You can see with the sky obviously I'll try to preserve a sort of lighter area and then the darker you can make the surrounding clouds the more dramatic it looks, That's, you know, that contrast can be changed, light against dark. I tried to do a variety of clouds, some using the hate brush, some I've took out with the tissue just tried to get some sort of nice textured effect going. First trees put in the water the paper's still wet and then a little bit stronger there. You can see how these look a bit like closer towards us because they're stronger in tone, more defined profile tree tops as opposed to the other ones further away, putting when the paper was still wet. The building, um, I've always struggled with buildings and I need a lot more practice. I've, I've got to the point now where I'll just sort of try and put the the main block block the main shape of it in and then just Bit of bit of card to scrape out a few details, and you can create quite a convincing looking building. Just a few marks here and there, just to help create interest. You know, easily scraped out and then filled in with a bit of colour. And then the sort of figure deliberately put right in there in the light light doorway there for maximum um, counter change. Little little dog. I'll just try to. Used a very diluted mix there just to keep the road really light so it sort of looks as if the light's reflecting off the road as it sweeps round into the foreground, it gets a little bit darker. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you like that. Keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.